Hey guys, what is up today? It is a Sunday evening. I am in a sweatshirt, messy bun, and some cute little kitty ears. I'm bumming it today. I did do my makeup, but when it was time to do my hair, I was not feeling it. So, messy bun, Sunday fun day. So, it is rather later on a Sunday, so I took a nap earlier. So, if my makeup looks kind of messed up, I'm sorry but a Sunday afternoon nap was must needed. I have my tea here to kind of help me keep awake, stay awake, keep awake, stay awake, yeah. Excuse you. Anyway, today's video is going to be a review and swatch video on the brand new Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. It has a really cool, I don't, I forget what it's called, I don't know if it's called like an anagram. I might be completely wrong, but it says, metal here and when you flip it it says matte it's pretty bad ass no. i picked up this palette from sephora online the moment it launched i absolutely love kat von d products i did buy last year's holiday palette which i have right here and it looks like this it's rather large but nonetheless beautiful stunning packaging however not very practical to travel with whereas this is yes this is very long compared to her shade and light palette here um it's quite big like it's big but yeah it's really long <laughs> this is just getting dirty <laughs> okay grown-up time it's a lot longer than a normal palette, but it is still rather thin. Here, it's cardboard sturdy packaging, so I think it would be a lot easier to travel with. This palette does retail for $60, and as it says on the Sephora website, it is ultra limited. So, if it's in stock still, which I think it is, I know they have it in store, I saw it there a couple days ago, go run and get it. This palette comes with 13 matte shades ranging in very beautiful colors from very bright vibrant colors to your basic neutrals and at the top you have nine of their metal crush shadows. These top shades really remind me of the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. They're kind of the same texture and feel. They almost feel wet. Um, but they're not. They're just very, very creamy. Um, I did swatch all of the shades for you. I'm going to get into the top row, which is the Metal Crush Shadows, and then we'll move into the matte shades. I did use this palette today for the look I'm wearing. I was going to do a really simple look, but when you are looking at these bad boys, it's kind of hard to. So I ended up using this color in velvet, which I really love. It looks really pretty in the pan. I think it looks just as pretty on the eye. I did not have a problem packing it on. However, you'll see in the swatch when I get to it, it's the very last swatch I do, it does look a bit patchy and crumbly, but it didn't look like that when I put it on the eye. There are a few shades in here that I'm a little iffy about, but the majority of the palette I think is beautiful and well worth every penny of it. But let's go ahead and get into these swatches. So the first four shades I swatched was Nebula, Watt, Ignite, and Tinsel. Nebula is just a gorgeous blue shimmery shade. I'm obsessed with it. I wore it last night. I did film a look using it, and that will be up in the next few days. And Watt is just a beautiful emerald green shade. I'm obsessed with that as well. Ignite, I'm a little underwhelmed with that. Not that it didn't perform well or anything like that. It just... I probably won't be wearing that. It just, I don't know, it didn't call to me. And then the last one, Tinsel. Lord Jesus, that is so beautiful. It's like a silvery, golden, just shimmer. It's beautiful. It is creamy like butter. I used that on the inner corner of my eyes last night, and it just gave a beautiful pop to the look. Absolutely adore it. These four shades are all swatched very easily. No patchiness, no crumbling. I just am not the biggest fan of Ignite. I just, it's not that it doesn't perform well. I just don't like the color personally, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. Anyway, moving on. 
The next ones I swatched, I swatched five just because I didn't want to swatch one all by themselves. And the next swatches are Glit, Twinkle, Volt, Synergy, and Flash. These all swatched beautifully, especially Synergy. That, oh my god, that one was like just so pigmented and buttery. However, the only one I did have a little bit of trouble with was Volt. That one felt a little bit more drier than the other shades and didn't swatch as well. I had to go over it like two times to get the pigmentation to show up. So Volt, even though it is a very gorgeous color, I'm wondering if maybe the formulation might be a little bit different because it didn't perform as well as the other shades did. But overall, the crushed metals are bomb. I love them. I own one of her crushed metals in the single pan because you can buy these in the single pan. Not these in particular. These shades are exclusive to this palette except for Synergy. But they all perform very well. I love the one I have um, by itself in the pan. I don't think that it's a different formula. It may be. I didn't check that. But um, still very creamy, very beautiful. I love them. So let's go ahead and get into the matte shades. Okay, I swatched seven of the matte shades at first. The first one is Linen, the black is Jet, the third is Velour, which I'm obsessed. The fourth is Stone, and then you have Moss, which is the pretty green. Then you have Ribbon, which is that nice purple, and then Silk, which is that purpley, pinky, mauve toned. And I, I liked all of these except for Linen. The white one, as you can see in the swatch, it just was very, very chalky. It was very chalky, very crumbly, and not very pigmented. I am wearing it on my brow bone today. It did perform, you know, rather well on my brow bone. I mean, I wasn't packing it and placing it all over the lid, but that one just formulation-wise just didn't cut it. The black, though, is probably one of the creamiest, darkest blacks I have besides the Makeup Geek corrupt that is my all-time favorite black and this one is pretty badass compared to that one as well it just swatched beautifully it was buttery i loved it and then the blue shade velour i wore that last night along with nebula the blue sparkly shade i kind of blended that into the crease and i loved it it swatched beautifully it's buttery so far the first six that i swatched were gorgeous except for linen i just was not impressed with linen whatsoever and now the next seven swatches, and my swatches got a little messy in this one, so I apologize. But they are, the first one is Fringe, which is this really peachy color. And then you have Feather, which is a very light yellow. Oak, Suede, and Bone, which are kind of your basic everyday neutral shades. And then the last one, Velvet, which I'm obsessed with, which I mentioned earlier. I have all over my lid. Even though in the swatch it does look a little patchy, I think it's just maybe the placement because it was on my wrist area. It didn't swatch as well because I absolutely love it. I do have it all over my lid today. It blended out beautifully. I It packed on. I, with these shadows, I did notice a little bit of fallout with the matte shades. Not so much with the shimmer shades. Granted, I've only used two of those, and the two I used, I did not have fallout. Um, but I did have a little bit of fallout with the last shade Velvet, and but that's okay. I mean, it wasn't anything that's like a big deal. It wasn't and you know bad enough to make me say don't buy this palette it's a piece of crap it was kind of just a normal fallout that you would get with any other shadow so what i kind of recommend to do is just do your eye makeup first then do your base your foundation after so you can clean up any fallout but basically my final thoughts of this palette is a hell yeah run and go get it i think it's gorgeous I think a lot of people might look at this and feel a bit intimidated because of the bright colors, but there's a lot of ways you can use it. You can just use some of these colors on the outer V just as a pop of color on the lower lash line, or you can go crazy like me and have no problem with putting any color all over your eye, and you should feel confident to do that because it doesn't matter what you wear and how you wear it. Why does everybody want to text me when I'm filming? I swear to God, nobody texts me any other time. But the moment I turn this camera on, it's like Grand Central Station and grr. This palette really gives you everything you need for a look. That I don't find myself when I've used this 
having to grab towards another palette to get a color I don't have in here. I mean, just right here, you have your neutral tones, you know, you have your transition color here, your all over lid or setting shade here in bone, and then your deepening color right here in oak. And, you know, you could just get a simple look with these three, a very simple everyday look, and then just use one of these as a pop of color. So you can get a lot of uses out of this. The bone shade up here, I really, really like. I call it like an eraser shade. Um, I have a couple like uh, Makeup Geek Mirage, I call a eraser shade. It's just a shade that if you blend too high up in your crease or too low, you kind of just take that on a big fluffy brush and blend it in and it just erases any mistake you made. So I love that shadow. I used it in both looks I did. So like I said, I think this is a definite worth it, go get it, thumbs up, hell yeah, go get it kind of product. And um, like I said, the packaging, it is quite large, but nothing that really bothers me. I mean, the last year's one, like I said, this one I loved. It bothered me a little more. Again, it was another rainbow type palette with your neutrals in the center. And I really loved it. There's some colors in here I, I use all the time. However, I don't travel with it. It's just not practical to travel with. Whereas I think she did good with the palette this year and made it a bit more travel friendly. So anyway, that was my review and swatches video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up so that I know to do these types of videos more. I love watching swatch videos so I can kind of see what it looks like before I buy it. And yeah, if you like this channel and you like watching me, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And I just want to say thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.